This thing is amazing. This is the future of electric cars. I'm sure you've all heard all the hype, the hoopla surrounding Toyota's new solid state batteries, which they actually announced back in 2014. So that tells you how real those batteries actually are. Considering no one's seen them yet, I'd say this new electric race car, which can charge in four minutes, is a lot more real than what Toyota are claiming. Now, why do I say it's a lot more real? Because it's real. People have seen it charge in four minutes. It actually works. Battery degradation, well, that's quite interesting. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. Great to see you, thank you for tuning in. Now, I'm making this video as a, comes from a suggestion from a, well, someone who watches the channel who sent me some links to some articles on this electric race car. You've probably been thinking to yourself, well, um, you know, how do you have races with electric cars? Well, I think the solution is simply to have replaceable, swappable battery packs. You could probably swap a battery pack out in less than the time it takes to actually refuel one with gasoline or diesel or petrol, or whatever. Which is why I love Elon Musk's suggestion that they should have a race between electric race cars and gasoline powered, petrol powered race cars. Now, it's been put out there into the world to say, let's bring that race on. But interestingly, Formula One are not interested. They're concerned they'll get beaten by electric race cars. And I think they would. Now imagine being able to swap an entire battery pack out. I think in theory, you could probably do it in less than 20 seconds. So being able to charge a race car in four minutes, it's great, but it's not really that relevant for the future. What this technology in this car is actually relevant for though, is for your standard EV, one that you drive at home. Because what happens is technology in race cars often, in fact, almost invariably trickles its way down into standard cars that you can buy as a normal consumer. Now to charge a Tesla, you spend on average around 25 minutes at a charging station. You want to charge a Volkswagen ID4, might be around 40 minutes. You want to charge a Ford F-150 Lightning, might be about 17 hours. No, it's less than that, but it's a long time. Now, that'll be faster in the future. And students at Eindhoven University of Technology, well, they've created this new battery pack which charges in four minutes. And very interestingly, companies are welcome to use their technology. This electric racing car, which students have been working on for months, is now fully operational and it's been tested numerous times. It has a full battery. When it's fully charged, it can do 250 kilometers of range. It's got a smallish battery pack. That's the reason why the range is relatively low. So the battery pack size is actually only 29.2 kilowatt hours. So about half the size of a battery pack in a Tesla Model 3. However, this race car has 322 kilowatt of power, so around about 460 horsepower, and it can charge in three minutes and 56 seconds. How are they doing it? How are they able to charge an electric battery pack this quickly? Well, one of the issues with fast charging is heat. A lot of heat is released during fast charging, which accelerates the degradation of your battery pack and it can cause a fire in the charging cable, all kinds of things like that. Now, said the manufacturer or the team manager of the, the race car team, in the past, we have developed an innovative cooling technology at module level but with cooling plates that are filled with coolant and they're placed between the modules with the cells. As a result, we were already able to get a lot of heat out of the package. If you want to get the heat out of the battery pack as well as quickly as possible, you'll want to cool as close to the battery cells as possible. Now, I've got to take this from a translation because it's all in Dutch. So sorry, my apologies for the bit uneven translation. Now, they said, we have therefore recently developed a method that allows us to cool their battery packs at the cell level whereby coolant actually flows between each cell. This means we can pull even more heat out of the pack and therefore charge the battery quicker without there being a fire. This has a hugely positive effect on the lifespan and repeated fast charging. So in the past, if you tried to charge a battery this quickly, it would just, it would basically die within a, a short space of time. Battery degradation would be enormous. You know, I might try and charge it really, really fast. Battery degradation, after you charge it, say 50, 100 times, the battery would be dead. That's one of the reasons we don't 
send a one megawatt charge into a battery pack because most batteries can't handle that to get repeated charges. Now, cooling at the cell level is not yet common on the market in battery packs, but it could be in the future, especially as a result of seeing this vehicle in action. InMotion has developed its own modules for commercialization. They said, it was very, very challenging that there was only a few millimeters of space between the cells in the module to apply the cooling technology. As a result, we had to work very meticulously. We are very happy that we have found a method that makes this possible. So it sounds like the coolant actually flows within only millimeters around the cells themselves. This could actually solve some of the challenges that battery manufacturers are facing with fast charging. If a group of extremely motivated students can achieve this, well, then you've got to say that the industry should be able to achieve this relatively easily. Once they tear down this battery pack, they should be able to basically just rebuild something similar. Now the team say, and the University of Eindhoven say that the technology has been tested at Research Institute TNO and ProDrive Technologies. They said the beauty of the technology is that it is possible to make battery packs of different sizes. So yes, this would work in theory in an electric car. They said that it is often thought that smaller battery packs charge faster than large packs. However, this is not the case. No matter how big you make the package, the charging time will remain the same, say the engineers behind it, as long as the charging station can supply enough energy. This ensures that there are many possibilities for implementation in the cars of the future. The student team has implemented the technology in an LMP3 racing car. The LMP3 is the prototype class of the famous 24 Hours of Le Mans, which is designed to welcome young drivers and new teams. So the team say the battery degradation on the battery is very, very minimal, even with fast charging. Here's what they said about using this technology in EVs. They think companies gonna be using this technology in EVs within two years. The engineer said, I expect that consumers will be able to charge within four minutes, within two years. As soon as there is a new technology, it will take a number of years to implement it. But because it is now only about the battery and onboard technology, I expect it will be suitable within a few years time. In addition to that, he says the car industry, in particular the electric car industry, is moving at a rapid pace. And that's why he thinks the electric car industry will start using these batteries very soon. He said, for example, that NEO, the Chinese car counterpart of Tesla, has a battery that you can actually remove. That way the battery can charge more slowly, which is better for the battery. However, if you don't want to do that, and most electric cars don't do that because that has its problems as well. That makes the battery pack heavier or the car heavier, meaning you get less range from a pack. The alternative to that, of course, is using a structural battery pack, which makes the structure of the car more rigid. It makes the car lighter, and then you get more range out of that battery as well. Now imagine a structural battery pack that charges in four minutes. There would be no need to have a swappable battery pack like what Neo are currently doing. And that's why for a long time now, I've said that I don't believe swappable batteries are a good solution for commercial passenger cars. For trucking, absolutely. Now, the future of EVs is amazing because EV battery chemistry is improving in energy density significantly every single year. Charging speeds continue to come down. But if you can have an EV with more than 500 kilometers of range that can charge in four minutes or less, well, in every way, that vehicle will be better than an internal combustion powered vehicle. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye bye.